Absolute collector. It looks like you're collecting transportation related stuff, huh? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a few things on wheels around here. I can already see all kinds of cool stuff in guys' garage. Now I'm getting excited. Dad's been gone for 10 years. It took a while before we started to sell a few things. And the goal here is really to take care of our mother's needs. Our mother's health is fair, but she does need care. And care is expensive. And I think it's poetic that my father could be gone for 10 years. And here he is. Still taking care of uh, Oh my god, what year is this Rolls Royce? No way. All original. That was actually a gift to my father after World War II. Real. Man named Clarence Brown. He was a director with MGM Studios. He directed National Velvet, The Yearling. And when World War II broke out, the father volunteered to the Marine Corps. And when he returned, Clarence Brown said, I'm very proud of you. And I hope you have as much fun with this car as I do. Wow. Only in Hollywood does a war hero get a Rolls Royce as a reward for his service. Is that a Columbia bike sign? Is that something that you guys would consider selling? Yes, I think we would. I'm trying to feel them out. Seem to be serious about selling because some of this stuff is amazing. Yeah, this sign's nice. It's funny. It's double-sided. I'm a bicycle guy. How about two bills? How about 250? Um, I think the retail number on it is probably around three and a quarter. So, how about two and a quarter? Yeah, I think we can do Alright, cool. Broke the ice, Frankie. Oh, I love that. We're building a relationship here. We've got the money flowing. Now, I can't wait to see what else this guy's got. No way. Whoa, Frankie, wow, check it out. I know. Guy has a complete town hidden back here. Man, it's like a Hollywood back lot in the woods. Man, I'm freaking out here. Did your dad built this? My father, my brothers, my brother-in-law, and whoever would come visit us. Dang, he nailed it, man. While well, it's a complete town, it's not facades, it's not empty buildings, they're all full. So if he was in the movie industry, did you guys ever shoot anything here? Uh, we shot a few low budget things. We have worked for high budget productions. We've taken antique cars locations. So you guys have done like prop rentals. Exactly. I can see stuff spilling out of all the buildings. Wow. All I can think about is hooray for.